Hi everyone, I'm Liam Richards. <clears throat> Welcome to my presentation of my dissertation research, which was titled Ableism's Final Straw, Disabled Representation in Media Coverage of the Plastic Straw Debate. I'm a level six politics student at Bournemouth University. Um, I thought I'd start with a literature review. I wanted to understand, get a good background knowledge of disability and the debates that surround it before I went into the straw bans. So I looked at um, the different models of disability and how they've actually shaped our understanding of disability and continue to shape the narrative often in the media. I then wanted to look at poverty, which it often comes up with disability, especially with the removal of state support from neoliberal politics and just why the disabled community are so concerned when policies are implemented that will create further barriers for them. I then wanted to look at the straw bans themselves because that's what this research is ultimately about. Um, I looked at Wong who spoke of the difficulties of the alternatives. Not all straws fit every um, need for the disabled. Um, so metal straws, paper straws, bamboo, they aren't always what um, the disabled people need. Um, I then looked at why the implementation of these bans has been breached in legislation because these bans were rushed and quite often the consequences weren't thought of. And then because I'm looking at the media, I want to have a look at the discourse around disability. So there's often the themes that come up of overcoming a disability, being an object of pity, being isolated. And then there's a the whole concept of ableism in which it's the social level oppression on the disabled. And that's when the wording comes into play in these articles. Uh, for my methodology, um, my objectives were to examine how disability was discussed, if at all in the articles of the plastic straw debates, it wasn't always discussed. But, um, so then I also wanted to analyse and compare the contrasting sides of the UK media. If they did discuss disability, how did they interact and contrast? But then what were the other themes that came up and how did they present those, such as the environment, business and so on? Um, I chose to use a summative content analysis. I looked at the Telegraph and the Guardian because they fit at similar ends of op the opposite sides of the political spectrum. Central left for the Guardian, central right for the Telegraph. In total, there are 43 articles analysed, 24 from the Guardian and 19 from the Telegraph. I used a Google advanced search to be able to break down the, the um, articles and find them. And then I chose a time span between the 1st of August 2015, which is when the um, straw debate was quick kick started by a viral video of a turtle with a straw up its nose. And then I ended it in February of 2020 because that was around the time I started collating the research and yeah, collecting it. So for my findings, as you can see, what's not shown at the end is actually the total articles, which is what my face is covering. But um, Disability wasn't one of the most prominent themes that was taken by the environment, which is really understandable. It's an environmental debate. It was kickstarted by the impact that the plastic straws are having on the environment with the turtle video that I previously mentioned. Um, disability, um, the Guardian offered a much more personal perspective of it with opinion pieces, um, whereas the um, Telegraph had two articles that were the same article but redone and one was very ableist in the language describing someone as suffering with a disability um, after they died from falling on a metal straw but they didn't actually have the chance to speak to her and our, and, or her relatives and ask was she suffering no one could know and that's the whole problem with ableist language but as you can see it's quite comparable the themes the way they're the amount that are covered, but the way they're covered is often quite different because of the two sources. My conclusions were that 2017 saw the first mention of um, disability in the debate, so it took two years after the video. The Guardian offers the more personal stories and the consequence of the bans, whereas the Telegraph was much more of a news style, offering updates and like, the medical implications. Um, it also featured the most problematic article, which I just mentioned. Um, both were quite supportive of the bans, but shifting perspective over time with their blame. The Guardian blamed the big businesses, um, whereas the Telegraph often put the blame on the individual or um, ban culture. The environment was the most prevalent theme. And for my future research, I recommended a broader exploration of 
the literature out there and the articles and also a deeper look at the language used by the writers. Thank you. Those are the references. Thank you for listening.